Hi Ron, in today's video I'm going to analyze the Benetech uh, Biopharma, it's a development stage biotechnology company that focuses on development of novel genetic medicine. Fovimesh should not consider investment advice. The market cap of this company is currently 15 million. The simple Wall Street finds a lot of risks, has less than one year of cash runaway, shareholders have been subsequently dilated, make less than 1 million revenue, it's currently 48k volatile share price of course and does not have meaningful market cap which is currently 50 million and i don't quite sure whether got the, the revenue because uh, yeah i usually watch you know, from the biopharmaceutical companies uh, so it's biopharmaceuticals.com and yeah drug pavilion the, they have two products that are in phase one and i think there's a bb301 the product that they are working with first in human trial to be initiated in next year so this could be some long-term investing idea but the good price to enter it maybe in three between between three and and four but yeah anyway the risk uh, the share price went pretty much up since the product updates and as we can see it was not so long ago over 100 percent currently it's almost 90 percent and yeah so market watch we see here that the, the stock price is around $14 per share so there's a huge upside anyway one year return minus 32% of course not beating the industry neither the market long-term price volatility considers highest valuation side yeah the simple Wall Street doesn't have price targets neither than tip ranks but like yeah fortunately the market watch has the $14 so there's like upside of 100% future growth uh, for the pharmaceutical and biotech uh, companies 20% best performance this company shows that annual earning growth increased 23% the company is unprofitable financial health side the yeah the company is debt free which is very good they do have cash 14 million and yeah as we know the biotech companies and many other industry in industries working companies they're not raising the depth they are raising the shares outstanding so just they, they're just printing the shares and yeah it's not it's not i think so bad as the depth but it's still it's lower there the investors like percentage in the company so for example if you had like 100 shares in like 2020 and if they doubled the shares price if you like had one zero point zero zero one uh, two percent then yeah like one year after you are having zero point zero zero one so it's like in percentage it's it's getting half but anyway it's good for the company to raise the capital for their needs for their product that they are working in but anyways they're insider tradings no volumes and uh, ownership breakdown shows 77 percent coding the general public institutions 10 percent vcp firms firms 6% hedge fund 5 individual insiders 0 0.2 and top shareholders result only one Morgan Stanley decreased 62% last reporting holding date 31st of December there is also Wells Fargo okay same date uh, three months ago and yeah so it's not so fresh data here but anyway vanguard is here that for me it's good and yeah finvis shows the like midterm 
there is a downtrend and as you can see that currently over 100 percent pump price up with huge volumes almost 60 million yeah anyway investing.com something that's stuck for long-term investors and i do recommend only invest in the long term strong sell thanks for watching this video subscribe to the channel like the video and see you in the future one